Hey guys, hello, good evening to everyone. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello, everyone. So, um, well, I know guys that probably in some part of El Salvador is raining. I understand probably some of your classmates are not going to be here today. And uh, that's understandable. Sí, sé que en algunas partes del país está lloviendo, but we're going to try to do our best, okay? So, can you listen to me clear? Si me escuchan claro, clear. Yes. Okay. Yes, so, yes. Uh, perfect. So, um, as I said, probably today we're going to be not as many. No vamos a hacer muchos el día de hoy, probably. But we're going to start or try to do our best. Vamos a tratar de hacer lo mejor. And also, you know, guys, before we start the class, antes de empezar la clase, siempre, we're always going to have practice about the previous class. Siempre vamos a tener práctica de la uh, clase anterior. So I was checking, guys, yesterday, uh, this, um, you know, the pictures, las fotografías que me enviaron algunos. And that was really good, actually. Algunos tuvieron uno, dos, que tres, ahí malos. But the majority, it was okay. So thank you so much for that. And what I can tell you is that keep practicing, okay? Keep practicing and trying to understand and trying to learn more things. So uh, that is going to help you to do better, okay? So uh, let me just share the screen with you. And first of all, we are going to have some exercises, okay? And these exercises, what we are going to do is obviously to practice what we saw yesterday. Who can tell me what we saw yesterday? ¿Quién me puede decir que vimos ayer? What we saw yesterday? What was yesterday's class about? Can someone the tell numbers. me? Numbers, okay. Thank you very much, Juan. What are the two types? ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos de numbers that we have in English? What are the two types? Ordinales y cardinales. Ordinal and cardinal. Okay, that's good. Can someone tell me an example of a cardinal number? Can you tell me an example of a cardinal number? Uh -huh. Someone can tell me an example? Two, I, I cannot listen to you very well. Oscar, can you speak a little bit loud? Not a lot. Guys, can someone yeah. tell me? Alguien me puede dar un ejemplo de número cardinal? Cardinal number? Third, second, third. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jorge. Now, uh, of course, you know, ordinal numbers are the ones that we already know. The numeros ordinales are really easy to understand. So we are going to go to the exercises. Nos vamos a ir a los ejercicios. And just let me share the screen with you. Let me show you here. So can you see that, guys? Can everyone see the presentation? Can you see it? Yes. Great, thank you. Uh, okay, so I need you guys to take a screenshot of this because we are going to go to working groups. And when we, when we complete these two exercises, I will ask you the pronunciation of those, okay? So this is the first picture or the first exercise. When you take the screenshot, 
Let me know so I can move on to number two, okay? Did you take the screenshot of this one? Si ya tomaron captura de esta? Yes. Now let's move on to number two. This is number two. Ready. Okay, now, uh, as you can see there, the instructions are that you have to match, tenemos que unir one with the other, the number with the letters, okay? That's what we have to do. Remember, when we come back, cuando regresemos a la sesión inicial, les voy a preguntar the pronunciation, okay? So if you can practice, you pueden practicarla while you're doing the exercises, that's perfect, okay? So just let me create the groups so we can work here. Okay, let me just check here. Let me just put this here. And we're gonna move this person here and this person here. Let's see, and here and Okay, so let's go, please. Join your groups. Kim, no, correct. Correct. Sí, sería. Twenty. 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 Okay, let me let me just check here. Uh, okay, try to do it now. Ahora sí. Okay. Eh, solo creo que tengo. Sixty is sesenta. No, seventy. Setenta. Setenta is seventy. It's seventeen. Ah, sí, así, correcto. Uh -huh. Es la cuarta. Ajá, sí, sí. Cierto. 80 es 80. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18 sería la 90. 90, 90. La tercera. Ajá. Ajá. Y la última es 100. 100. 100. Sí. Es la tercera de abajo para arriba. Es... Vamos a unir 10. Sí. Es la, la número 5. 5. Freddy, enfrente, Tori, es abajo, la última. Tori, Tori es la, antes. Eh, la penúltima. Ajá. La 50 está la primera. arriba. La primera, Ajá. sí. 70 está la cuarta. La cuarta. Ajá, cuarta. Es la cuarta. No, este es 60. No. No. Ah, sí. no, 60. no. No, arriba. 60. 
arriba está 70 o 70. Ah, sí, 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 70. Ok. Ok, 80. 80, 80. 90. Ok, 100, 100. Ahí la... La... la, la, la sí. Exacto. No, 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 están bien, están bien todas, todas. Ahí está bien, sí. exacto. Está bien ahí. Vamos exacto. a la otra. Yes. Una segunda. 76. Seven. La, la última. Sí. 76. Mm. 100. 100 es la segunda, de abajo para arriba. De abajo para arriba. Y 50 sí. es la primera. Correcto. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Ahí solo el acento británico que... <ríe> que nos cuesta todavía. Que, nos, que tenemos que saber de dónde sacamos el británico. Pero, <ríe> pero ya nos vamos a pasar al, sí. al americano, tranquilo. Sí, sí. <ríe> <ríe> ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el 14? Me dijo. El 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Christian, can you please turn the microphone off? Okay, thank you. All right, so we're just going to wait for the other ones uh, to come back to the main session. And we're going to start with the pronunciation, okay? So let's see. Uh, let's start with the group of Jessica Hernandez. Jessica, uh, so in your group, let me check. In your group, it was Francisco Martinez, Jessica Hernandez, Juan Peñate, Oscar Tomasino, Oswaldo, y Rebecca de Benaví. Okay? So let me go ahead and share, share the screen. And I'm going to start asking you questions. For example, let me see. Um, Jessica, how yes. do we say 50? Jessica, how do we say 50? Uh, 50. 50. Thank you very much. That was good. Now, let me see someone else from your group. Vamos a ver alguien más de tu grupo. Just let me check here. And we have, let me see. Um, we have Juan Peñate. Juan, are you there? Yes. How do we say, Juan, let me see, uh, 92? 92. 90, 92, okay? 92. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Now we have Francisco Martinez. Are you there? Yes. Francisco, okay, how do we say Francisco 33? 33. 
33. Okay, we say 30. Remember 30. Con Z. 33. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so let's go now with Oswaldo. Oswaldo Stanley. Yes. How do we say Oswaldo 81? 81. 81. Okay. Uh -huh. 81. Seguimos 81. con el acento 81. medio británico por ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, okay. Okay, so Rebecca de Benavides. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Hello. So how do we say 76? How do we say that in English? 76. Seven, 76. 76. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. Rebecca. Now we're going to move on to the next group and we start with Felix. Felix, can you tell me, Felix, how do we say 65? Yes, Chair. Uh, it's 65. Say it again. Repeat it again. 65. 60, 65. 65. 65. Okay. Thank you very much, Beatriz Wesley. Are you there, Beatriz? Yes. Okay, Beatriz, how do we say um, 90? 90. 90, thank you very much. Uh, Elena Cortez, are you there? Yes. Oh, how do we say Elena 14? 14, Elena? Well, probably her internet is not working well. But okay, so let's see. Uh, the last person, Didana. Are you there, Didana? Yes. How do we say Didana 49? 49. Vamos a ver si lo puedo pronunciar. Eh, 49. Close. Bastante cerca. It's 40. 49. 40. 49. 49. Okay, so thank you very much, Didana, and for everyone that participated. Now, let me see. Uh, I'm going to ask two questions. Those were, esos eran números cardinales o ordinales? Can someone tell me? Ordinales. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me see. Um, who can tell me? ¿Quién puede decirme cómo decimos? Uh, quinto. How do we say quinto? Does anyone have any idea? Pairs. Okay, pretty close. Now, let's see. Uh, can you please, podrían todos escribir en el chat primero? How do we write, como escribimos primero? How do you write? Okay. I can see some answer. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Beatriz, Oswaldo, Rebecca, Elena. Okay. Thank you very much. I can see Jorge, Didana, too, Elena, Julio Aguillon. Thank you very much. So I can see that the majority of you already know how we say that. Oscar, do you have a question? Oscar? Um, I didn't listen to you. No, no te escuché muy bien, Oscar. Can you repeat it again? Sí. Apenas. Sí, no puedo oírlo muy bien. Eh, Pero... Okay. I under I understand, Oscar. I mean, as I was saying at the beginning, I know that in some parts of El Salvador, it's raining and it's raining a lot. Está lloviendo mucho en algunas partes del país. So I completely understand, okay? What you can do, lo que puedes okay. hacer es tomorrow, 
you can check the class on YouTube because we have a YouTube channel, so you can check the class once again so you don't get lost. Para no, que no te quedes perdido, okay? So, uh, for today's class, guys, today we're going to talk about something which is really different. Today's class is going to be about demonstrative pronouns. Pronombres demonstrativos. So just let me show you a little bit about what is that. So this is what we have. Demonstrative pronouns. Pronombres demonstrativos. Which are they? So we are going to try to understand how to use demonstrative pronouns and how to make sentences or questions using demonstrative pronouns. And here we have, y aquí los tenemos. The pronunciations, I'm going to tell you the pronunciations and then I will ask every one of you to make the pronunciation, okay? So for example, this one right here, we say this, this. This one here, we say this, 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 that, those, this, this, that, those. So, let me tell you something. Si se fijan algo, aquí hay TH, right? ¿Qué les había dicho el sonido que hace la TH en English? What's the sound? Z. Zeta. Zeta. Ok, but en este caso, chicos, es la única excepción que tenemos. En este caso, yo no voy a pronunciar Z, sino que en este caso se pronuncia como que si fuera una letra D. For example, this, como D, this, and this one, this, that, those. Now, let me see. Uh, I will give you a number. Les voy a dar un, uh, un número por el cual, el orden en el que lo van a pronunciar. So we're going to start with Rebecca de Benavides. You're going to be number one. Elena Cortez, number two. Felix, number three. Julio Aguillon, number four. Uh, Jessica Hernandez, number five. Oswaldo Stanley, number six. Juan Peñate, number seven. Vidana, number eight. Francisco Martinez, number nine. Beatriz, number 10. And Jorge Luis Castaneda, 11. So go ahead, please, and make the pronunciation. This, this, okay. that, those. That was good. We only have, tuvo muy bien, el único problema es acá. No es una D en sí, sino que es como que fuésemos eh, a decir la letra O, como O, O, y en lugar de decir O, decimos E, this. This. Ese es el sonido que vamos a hacer. Suena como E, pero no es en sí una E. But thank you very much, Rebecca. That was good. Who is number two? This. This. Mm -hmm. That. Those. Thank you very much. Who is number three? Uh, this, this, mm -hmm. does, that, does. Those. Okay, thank you very much. Who is the next one? This, those, that, okay. those. Okay, what's, what's good? Thank you very much. Who is the next one? The next one, who is it? Pronunciation. 
Jessica, is that you? Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead, Jessica. This, this, that, those. Thank you very much. Who is the next one? Yes. Mm -hmm. This. That was good. Yeah. That. Those. Thank you very much, Waldo. That was a really nice pronunciation, actually. Let's move on to the next one. Who is the next one? Next one. Hello. Hello, hello. This does mm -hmm. that and those. Okay, we just have a little bit of problem in this one, but the others were really well pronounced. Thank you very much, Juan. Who is the next one? Next one. Hello. Bueno, no, no sé si yo iba. <laughs> El nueve va, ya. Yeah. No. Yeah, let's go, Francisco. Okay. This. Das. Mm -hmm. Das. Those. Okay, thank you. Who is the next one, guys? The next one, hello. Um, this, those, that, uh, those. Okay, thank you. And Jorge, you're the last one. This, this, that. Those. Thank you. That was really good, Jorge. Really nice pronunciation. Okay. So once again, guys, what's the meaning of those? ¿Qué significan esto? Example, para el singular, the singular form, para los singulares, yo voy a utilizar these, que significa este, esta, esto. Okay? And that, que significa aquello, aquella, right? Singular. Significa que I'm talking about one thing. Me estoy refiriendo a una cosa. Pluro. Plural. Más de dos. So, el plural de this va a ser this. Y el plural de that va a ser those. Si yo aquí digo este o esta, aquí voy a decir estos, estas. Si yo aquí digo aquel, aquella, aquí es aquellos, aquella. ¿Ok? One of the main characteristics of this thing, guys, is that estos dos are going to be used for near. Van a ser utilizados para cosas cerca, near. And these two are going to be used for things that are far. Cosas que están lejos. For example, let's see. Si yo quiero decir aquel televisor, ¿cómo piensan que diría? That, that, that television. That, that, that television or that TV, which is the same thing. So, porque está lejos. But what happens, ¿qué pasa si yo tengo mi teléfono enfrente mía? Yo digo, este teléfono. This, this telephone. This, this telephone. We can say this cell phone, which is the cell phone, right? And, or telephone. Si es un teléfono, like, you know, the línea fija or something like that. So, are we understanding? Si estamos entendiendo how to use uh, the yes. monster for now? Okay. Yes. Yes. So let's move on then. Now, ¿cómo formamos oraciones? How do we make positive sentences? Very easy. 
We have a formula. Tenemos una formula. Demonstrative pronoun, pronombre demonstrativo, which is did that. We have the verb be, podemos utilizar el verbo to be, plus a complement. We have here. Algo muy importante, guys. As you can notice here, como pueden notar, in the singular form, the estoy utilizando the form of the verb be, que es is. In the plural form, I am using the form of the verb be that is are. For example, yo quiero decir, este es mi carro nuevo. This is my new car. Aquel es mi amigo. That is my friend. So, estos son mis aritos. These are my earrings. Earrings. Aquellos son mis materiales de clase. Those are my classroom materials. Okay? So now, how, there's another way, hay otra forma de poder pasar these ones from positive to negative. Uh, my bad here. Aquí dice positive, pero debería decir negative. Ahí es problema de redacción que tuve ahí. So my, my apology. Las disculpas del caso. Eh, so, ¿cómo hacemos una negativa? Easy. Solo seguimos the pattern or the formula. And the formula says, the most key pronoun, this, that, Verb B plus the word not, más la palabra not, and complement. And the same happens here. So I'm going to say, this is not my new car. ¿Puedo hacer contracciones del verbo to be más la palabra not? Can I do that? ¿Puedo hacer eso? Can I do it? ¿Cuál sería la contracción del verbo to be must not? It isn't. Isn't. Correct. Thank you very much, Julio. What about this one? ¿Qué de esta? What about this one? Aren't. Aren't. Correct. So we're, we can say, podemos decir, this is not my new car, or we can say, this isn't my new car. We can say, that is not my friend, or we can say, that isn't my friend. Either we can say also, these are not the sandals I bought in Miami, or we can say, these aren't the sandals I bought in Miami, or those are not my class of materials, or the contraction, those aren't my classroom material. Now, with the information that I just told you, con la que acabo de decir, does any one of you have any questions so far? Or it's clear? Is it clear? Okay, so, so I'm gonna so, take that. Yes. I'm gonna take that to suggest. All right. So I can also, guys, yo también puedo formar questions. Questions and short answers. How do I do that? ¿Cómo hago eso? I just move the verb be at the beginning. Muevo el verbo to be al inicio. Then the demonstrative pronoun. And then the complement. And of course, ¿Cómo le decimos a este signo en inglés? Interrogation. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. We call it, le llamamos question mark. Question, Signal mark. Interrogation. question mark. Okay. So we say, is this my new car? Is este mi carro nuevo? Is this my new car? Remember that I told you last time, when you make a question, guys, it's very important that you make the intonation of a question. Why? Because if you do not make the intonation of the question, probably the person that is listening to you 
is not going to understand that you are asking a question. Probably that person is going to understand that you are saying or that you are confirming something. Probablemente la persona no va a entender y pienso que usted está confirmando en vez de preguntar. So that's why pronunciation and intonation, entonación de pregunta is always necessary, okay? So I can say, is that my new car? Or is this my new car? So how do I reply or how do I make the questions in plural? Lo mismo para el plural. So I can say, are these my earrings? Are those my earrings? Simple as that. Now, how do I answer those questions? ¿Cómo respondo esas preguntas? Simple. If I want to say yes, if I want to say yes, y quiero responder sí, I can say, yes, this is. Yes, that is. Estos son singular o plural? Singular. 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 Okay, singular. Okay, now, for the plural form, we can say, yes, this are, yes, those are. Now, in the negative, how do I do it? I can say, no, this are not, or these aren't. Oh, no, that's my bad here. Let's see. Uh, let me just double check here. We have, a, we have a problem here, guys. And let me check. Esto no debería estar así. Debería estar, this is yes. not. Or... Between parentheses, that it should be something like is uh, or contracted, right? So you understand. So the videos are no, this is not, or no, that is not. ¿Por qué no puedo usar are? Porque estos son singulars. Si ¿Sí? este this no tiene que estar acá because ya sabemos que ese this is for plural. So in plurals, I can say no. These are not or aren't. No, those are, those are not or those aren't. Now, uh, I guess, guys, this information or this topic is very easy. Considero que este tema is uh, very easy to understand, right? Am I correct? Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much for confirming. Now, um, if there's no questions, guys, uh, we're going to have just a brief explanation. Vamos a tener una pequeña explicación más corta, which is in general, para todo. Once again, volvemos y recapitulamos. We say, for singulars, I use this and that. For plurals, I use this and those. So, there's two different guys. Hay uh, dos, dos situaciones acá. En este caso, the first case, this part right here, quiero que todos se centren en esta parte de acá. And pay attention, okay? Here it says demonstrative pronoun. ¿Cuándo va a estar actuando como un pronombre demonstrativo? When, ¿cuándo? Cuando a la par de él tengamos el verbo to be. Sí, for example, yo aquí estoy diciendo, this is a red pen. Este es un lapicero rojo. Sí. Now, ¿qué sucede si yo utilizo un pronombre demostrativo y luego de él ya no pongo un verbo to be, sino que pongo un sustantivo. Ahí ya cambia y deja de llamarse pronombre demostrativo y pasa a llamarse adjetivo demostrativo. ¿Sí? Si se fijan, solo es esa pequeña diferencia. That's the only difference. So we have to pay attention to that. Tenemos que prestar atención a eso. If I say, this pen is red, este lapicero es rojo. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre decir este es un lapicero rojo a este lapicero es rojo? 
So it's pretty much the same thing. Es casi la misma cosa. ¿Qué es lo único que cambia en gramática? Que deja de llamarse demonstrative pronoun y pasa a llamarse demonstrative adjective. ¿Sí entendemos la diferencia? Do you guys understand the difference? Yes. yes. Ok, eso significa que hacemos un examen mañana de demonstrative pronoun. Todos sacamos 10. Right? Yes. Great. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so if there's no questions at all, si nadie tiene preguntas, we are going to go directly to the practice. Nos vamos a ir directos a la práctica. So before we go to the practice, antes de irnos a la práctica, ¿alguien tiene preguntas? Does any one of you have any question? Algo que no le quedó claro, something that is not clear? No? Okay. So I'm going to take that, that as a no, it's clear or okay. So we're going to go to this practice, guys. I need you to please take a screenshot with your phone or if you're working in a computer or something like that, you can do it. You let me know so I can move to number two, okay? That okay? Can I move to number two? Yes. Okay. This is number two. Can I move to the next one? Yes. Yes. This is number three. And this is number four. What are we going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer acá? Cambiar de plural al singular. That's it. Change from plural to singular. Okay. So I guess everyone took the screenshots. So we're going to move on directly to the workout rooms. Nos vamos a mover de nuevo a los workout rooms. And... repite la, la doy la tres, por favor. Okay, just let me, give me a moment then. Just let me check, one second. All right, so I guess this is number this number two. And this is number three. Okay, so I will stop sharing and we're gonna go to the breakout room. So just let me go back here and okay, let me check here, here, and here. And here. Okay, so I need everyone to join your groups and I will be checking every one of you, okay? Please. Everyone help each other. Todos ayúdense entre ustedes. Okay, I will be checking.
Esta es con Fish. Ah, sí. Sí. Eh, eh, no, no. no. Esa es como la primera. Es la primera. Sí. Eh, la, el, sí, ok. Ese sí es. No, no. es la, ¿ah? that. Es, that. No, son, no, es plural, este son sigue. zapatos. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Este sigue, son estos. This. This. Estos. No, no. Es so, los shoes, so es that. No, no, no es that. Los zapatos es como la segunda. Es plural. Es this. T-H-E-S-E. -E. Pay attention, presten atención a las manitas que están arriba, so they were going to help you, ¿ok? Do not get confused on that. Uh -huh. Thank you. La verdad. Sí. 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 Solo que para escribir se hace un poco difícil aquí con el teléfono. Sí. Si no solo, bueno, hagamos como en las otras. Anotemos la parte. Yo creo que lo podemos notar porque yo igual estoy de sin teléfono. Sí, igual. Como en los otros ejercicios, este, anotemos aparte. Solo vayamos viendo y que estemos de acuerdo si es o no. Va en, en, la, en la primera. This. O cuál. This is o that is. This porque es, this. Una, es singular. No, no caben. Mamá, no caben, mamá. Sería. Planet. Es. Dos sería. No. The planet. That. 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 Das, t h a t t h a t Planet, sí. Y el otro es This Planet. This va. t h s Sí, correcto. Sí. Y la última es This. This va. Esta bolsa. Vamos con la siguiente plana. Sí. La primera. Uh, no, no sé qué es. Teacher, teacher, pies, pies. ¿Cuál? Pills. ¿Cuál no sabes? I do not. I do Number not. Number three. Cheese. We call it cheese. Le llamamos a, a unas chibolitas que son como verdes. Que a veces vienen en la sopa maruchan. I don't know how to call it in Spanish. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So plurales. So, mm -hmm. This. 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 Okay. Y este... Look. Look at the this car on the road. This? No. No. That. Uh, that. Oh. This. This garden is very nice. This. This. Dark planet. Da, da, no sé. Sí, that. 
lo último no entiendo qué es. Eh, sí, tiene que decir este, ese planeta. La última palabra es insecto. Bug. Es. This. This. La otra es. Nos pasamos a la otra. El otro ejercicio, sí, ese es de cambiar de plural a singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A singular. Ajá. No, ese todavía no. No es esa la tercera. La del muñequito, ¿eh? En la, en la cuarta ¿Sí? es la que vamos a, a cambiar. Ah, ok. Put the pencil in this box. Put the pencil in this box. Box. Va. Sí, ese. Ahí sería that. That, creo que. Sí, that. That, ajá. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Yo creo no, porque está hablando de uno. ¿Qué es pis? Pis. Que no es plus singular eso. Por eso es singular, pero, pero. Aquella sería en, aquel, en aquella. En aquella caja. Entonces, sí es. Ah, ese es el primero. Entonces sería. Ajá. Sería TAT. Sí. T-H-A-T. Correcto. Digo yo. Sí. Es que allí está el niño. Es que allí está el niño a la par. Y dice: sí. Yo estoy aquí, va. Pero sí. qué es ti? No, no, singular, pero no, no. Pero eso, eso, eso no, no. Bueno. Distante. Sí. Distante. Perdón. Distante, Distante. ajá. Ah, pues sí, sería uh -huh. Pay attention, ahí dice distante. No, no, eso es. no dice distante. Es plural, es que es plural. Uh -huh. Pero... It is, 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 a is, this is, a car. Pay attention, please. Desde aquí estoy viendo errores. So please check them again. Wow. Sí, porque el mismo no, pues. Quites el, el... Sería DAC, compañero. Sería DAC. ¿Cuál sería en el último, entonces? <risa> DES. Mm. De aquel. Aquel de... de That es de aquello, aquella. Como Dark Tiger, aquel tigre. Mm. Ajá, es como el del tigre.
We are just going to wait the others. So vamos a esperar a los demás to come back to the to the main session, okay? All right, so I see that the majority is coming back. So um, I was checking the groups and I saw that the majority were able to understand the exercises. So just let me check here and ask people in general. Vamos a ver, uh, Felix, what is the answer for number one? This. This bike. Correct, thank you very much. Oswaldo Stanley, what is the answer for number two? Uh, this, mm. this car. Okay. Si se fijan, la manita no, está no, no. para allá. Is that, is that. That. that car, that. Yes. That, that. That. that car. Thank you very much. Okay. Jessica, what is the answer for number three? This. This roses. Correct. Thank you very much. Rebecca de Benavides. What is the answer for number four? Those clouds. Those clouds. Thank you very much. Jorge Luis Castaneda. What is the answer? For Hello? Hello? No, 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 no podemos dormir. Buenas noches. Micrófono, teacher. Okay. Yo creo que era para espiarnos. Um, we had a situation. Yes. I mean, it's raining really hard here. So we're going to stop the class here. Vamos a parar la clase hasta acá. Ya que el tiempo ya tuvimos la hora en el training. Okay. So uh, the internet is not working here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow at the same time. So hope you have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. 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 Good